Cowabunga dudes and dudettes, this is Anthony, aka BatBomb82, and today I'll be doing my 147th Mezco Toys 112 Collective action figure review, this time being of Conan. Now taking a look at the front, we can see some gorgeous Frasetta artwork of Conan. Turning the box around, we can see multiple images and panels showcasing the figure in multiple posing positions with his different interchangeable parts and accessories. So with the box out of the way, let's crack this figure open and let him breathe. Let's take a closer look at the new Mezco Conan figure. I love this art style. It's so awesome, and I feel like I'm the the last YouTuber to review this figure. The shipping on this guy has just been ridiculous. Uh, we all know it's been kind of a pain in the butt with him, so uh, he's finally here. Super happy to have him in the collection. I was so anticipating this. This is one of my most anticipated of the year, and he looks freaking awesome. So the head sculpt looks really good. Again, getting that Frank uh, Rosetta uh, art just looks so good the eyes look amazing all the paint apps uh in the face you can see the scarring all over the entire body looking really really good you got that really cool necklace there uh the, again all the uh scarring it just looks incredible man this guy's seen some wars all the dark wash in there this conan barbarian nippies right there all looking good and, and obviously what's really cool about this is they appear to have put a whole new sculpt just for this figure as far as the entire body goes. Uh, so that's something I think we need to acknowledge uh, instead of just reusing a, a previous buck, you know, to get this style, they really had to uh, just make a whole new body. So I think that's really, really cool and kudos to them. So I wonder if they're gonna use it for something else. But anyways, everything else looks really nice. I love the uh, furry loincloth here. It was like a leather-like material. The belts look really good too, all the way down to the uh, legs again, all that scarring. Uh, and what I like is even the texture of his skin. You can see all like the pores and things like that looking really nice the boots look really good man i love the detail on this even on the bottom again looks really nice dude uh looking really solid again his back looks incredible that wash really helps with the the dirtiness of this figure and just making him look worn and just seeing some stuff the hair looks really nice so i love the way this looks man he is such a cool looking figure now i know the art style isn't going to be for everybody i totally get that uh but for me art nerd man as an artist myself always appreciated his style uh always appreciated this version of conan i always thought it was really really cool and super happy to have him in the 112 collective Okay, so as far as accessories go, we get all kinds of interchangeable hands. You got like gripping hands right here. Uh, you get more open palm hands. Uh, you get uh, closed fisted hands for punching and things like that. Uh, everything you're really gonna need. Uh, you even got hands with more curled fingers, which are really cool. So again, all the good stuff that you're gonna need for this figure. We do get an interchangeable head. So we just pop this one off and I love how Mezco does their interchangeable heads, man. Interchanging heads between Mezco figures is just so satisfying for some reason. Uh, but we got this one right here, which looks so freaking good. I love the angry head like that with those blue eyes. The teeth look good. Mezco has definitely been getting better with their teeth because, man, some of them would just look terrible on the older figures. Uh, you can even see his earrings in there, which just looks awesome. So that is definitely the head sculpt that is going to stay on this figure for the rest of its life uh, because I just think that looks so rad, man. Love that a lot. All right, we also do get a ton of like different types of swords. We got this more curved blade one, which is really cool. Uh, it even has its own sheath, which is really nice. I love that. Just hit that in there. And I love the detailing on that, man. I think that just looks really solid. Uh, you even got those little chains right there. I'll show you what those are for shortly. Uh, we even got this more, uh, I think more like a traditional Conan type sword. Again, look at the sheath on that, man. All that gold, silver, black paint apps look really good with the chain on there. Uh, you can pull the sword out looking awesome. I love how like almost like a little rusted and beat up that sword looks. I love that a lot. And again, it does have those chains on there. Uh, and what those chains are for, uh, if you look at the belt of the figure itself, uh, it comes with two little like type of hooks. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna hook those onto the belt like that. You get another one over here. You could hook them however you like, whatever works for you, you know what I mean? Uh, then you're gonna take those hooks, and let's see here, the best way, um, and this is kinda tricky to do on camera, so I'm probably gonna botch this quite a bit, so bear with me here. I have fat fingers, so this isn't, this isn't easy for people like me. 
our fat fingers hinder so much. Uh, but you can take that and the little rings right there. And am I gonna do this? Oh my God, I feel like this is gonna be such a pain in the ass. And I feel like you people totally enjoy watching me struggle with this kind of thing. So hopefully this is entertaining. There we go, there we go. So you can see how it hangs and will drape like that. So pretty cool, man. I love uh, the option of having to do things like that, which I think is super cool. Uh, and again, you could do the same thing uh, with both swords because both swords have those sheaths uh, where you can do that and you could hook them on like so. Uh, so I think that's pretty awesome. We also do get a little knife here. Love, I love all the weapons in this, man, because everything uh, has such a great art style, you know what I mean? But a nice little gold blade with a red handle like that. And that also has a nice little sheath right here as well. So that looks really good too. And a little nylon uh, strap right there. You can strap it on uh, wherever you need to, which is really dope. So we also do get a little like harness type piece right here. Uh, we actually pop the head off and the necklace. I'm gonna take all this stuff off right here. Uh, and I'm gonna kind of drape this on over the shoulder like so. And that form fits around that body pretty good. So I dig the way that looks. Uh, let me go ahead and pop the uh, necklace back on if you like. And uh, again, I love that angry head. So that looks really cool too. So I really dig that, man. Um, we do get other little areas to like hook things if you want. So if you want to hook something right here, you can do that. Um, there's also this little loop right here with the little hook. Again, you can hook it where you feel. Uh, what this is for, this is actually a holster for his axe that we get here. So you can holster that to his belt or the harness, wherever you like. Uh, but I love this axe as well. It has like almost like an iron look to it. You can see how like dark and worn it is. So I love the shape of that, the blades and the tips and all that look really cool. So that's a fantastic weapon, man. I really, really dig this a lot. Um, of course, we get a shield. Got to have that classic Conan shield. I love this little spike at the end right there in the middle. Uh, and the straps on really easily. You know, just ho hoop it onto the... Uh, the arm like this one, let me just show you. Uh, you just loop it through like so, and then I like to take the uh, hand uh, like this, put the hand back on like that, and then you can kind of just like weave this through properly uh, through the fingers. Uh, and again, man, this stuff is so tricky for me to do on camera. Ah, it is what it is. You can holster it like that, and it, it works really good, dude. Really, really solid. Love the way that works. Next up, of course, we do get that Mezco stand, which I always love, and I love the artwork right there, looking so awesome, that very classic vintage artwork, uh, even with the uh, naked chick down here, which is pretty rad. I wonder if we'll get the naked chick, that'd be pretty cool, huh? Uh, but I love that artwork, man. Uh, then, of course, you get the articulated, st or the, uh, articulated arm right there to go with the stand, which I always freaking love, so that's really cool, dude. Love that a lot. And then the last things we get we actually get an interchangeable skirt piece here. You can interchange his like loincloths here. And what's cool about this, this actually has actual chain mail on there. That's impressive, dude. I thought this was gonna be some sculpted chain mail that they were gonna do, you know? Uh, but they gave us actual real chain mail, which I think is pretty awesome. And then you also do get a little, like a kind of like a cloak or a cape, if you will, that you can put around him too, which is really, really rad. Now, the way you're gonna interchange the uh, skirt pieces here, uh, the belt just does unclip like that around here, like so, and then you're gonna actually be able to uh, pull this whole thing off like this, um, and we're gonna get him kinda naked here for a bit. So, uh, let some of you fellas in there enjoy the show. So you can pull this off if you want, like that. Get him a little uh, this off right here, like this right here. Like that and pull this through and then um what am i even doing here there we go there there this is coming through now there we go oh my god i feel like i'm fumbling through this entire review which is hilarious to me so all right there we go there we go and now you see him in his chonies you know what i mean so that's a little yep right there buddy so mezco china 2021 right there uh, and then you're gonna slip this one on like so, just through that, uh, the same way, just went back on. And I might have to do this on off camera because that's gonna be a little tricky. Okay, so now here is the other skirt piece on with that chainmail looking freaking dope. Uh, man, I just might leave that on because I think that looks so rad. Um, I don't, yeah, I don't think I want the other one on. So 
I don't know. I may think about that for a while, but definitely the chainmail one looks really freaking cool. Uh, you could take the head off right here, <clears throat> and then we can get that uh, like cape type of thing. And this is just gonna kind of go over the shoulders like this, like so. You know, fit it down how you like, like that. Uh, and then we'll just put this head off right now, uh, right like that. And then boom, now he has a type of like cape or a cloak to go over him to, you know, help him through those terrains that he's constantly going through. And it just looks awesome, man. I love the fabric here, all the different layers, how they add a little paint to give it some wear, some tear, all that good stuff, man. I just freaking love the way this looks, man. Lots of great stuff with this figure. I mean, you get so many options here. I think it's so awesome. I am loving this. So the best thing to do, I noticed, uh, is to take the little knife sheath and uh, wrap it around the right wrist there. That holds pretty good. And I also noticed that you can actually hang both swords from those hooks on the back, which I think is really cool. And if you see that, he could holster all of his weapons, which I love, man. That's always a big plus for any action figure for me. All right, so now let's run down his articulation here. Uh, the head is on a ball joint, rolls around very nicely, can turn left and right. Uh, the hair isn't going to hit her all that much, it actually works pretty good. Uh, look up about that far, down about that much. Uh, what's interesting is the head, the neck itself looks like it's on a separate piece, um, and it can kind of like rotate separately, um, but nothing really else. I try to go up and down um, a little bit, it's barely doing anything, mostly just the left and right. Arms can go all the way up and over, three, full 360 out that far like so we can rotate at the bicep we get a single bend at the elbow that bends at 90 you can also rotate at the elbow rotation at the wrist as well as a hinge at the wrist we get a double ball bag in the midsection so that rolls around like so does turn left and right pivot side to side crunches back that far uh, forward just manipulate that all that much like there hip joints that kick forward that much back that far splits all the way out very nicely rotation in the upper thigh we got double jointed knees that work very nicely uh you got a little bit of rotation at the boot and the ankles are on ball joints those roll around left and right up and down and a pretty sweet ankle rocker so overall the articulation surprisingly good uh i know people still would want double jointed elbows and things like that i get it totally understand uh doesn't really hinder my fun but i get it still he's so freaking cool man again this was one of my most anticipated personally um and you know try to tell people man i know a lot of you didn't pre-order this guy and he's going for crazy prices already in the aftermarket um but hopefully you got your order in hopefully you don't pay too much of the scalper prices i know it's hard but man please try not to this is ultimately better better for the community uh but if you can't grab him or he did grab him i'm pretty sure you're going to love him i think he's awesome and in my opinion a definite must get so for a quick size comparison here he is sitting next to a marvel legends deadpool and NECA batman figure also for comparison here he is sitting next to the mezco 112 collective gladiator hulk and Hellboy. And for even more comparison, here he is standing next to the Masterverse Faker and Mezco Toys King Kong. And just for fun, here he is with Little Lego Bat Bomb. So there it is guys, my review of the Mezco Toys 112 Collective Conan. Now I think this guy turned out awesome. The sculpt is so beautifully detailed in the face, the entire body scene, all the scars and the pores, just, is just mind blowing to me at how beautiful they got that. Even adding a wash to the skin to really dirty him up and make him look more grimy just looks amazing. All the accessories are so beautifully done. I always love the Frazetta style and all the detail he's put into the work and really capturing that into an action figure is just awesome. And I think Mesco did a great job. The articulation is very smooth. Uh, I can understand where people would want even more articulation. Totally get that. Uh, but th th that doesn't really bother me with this particular figure. I think he's a beautiful art piece. I love this version of Conan. And again, I know he's going to be kind of a pain in the butt to find right now. As he seems to pretty be pretty scarce. So again, hopefully try not to pay too much. But I think he's worth adding to your collection. He's awesome. And would be such a badass addition to the Mezco 112 Collective.
So be excellent to each other and stay nerdy, my friends. Peace.